This is a video here about uh, how I'm getting ready for a uh, five gig ether. I mean, a uh, five gig uh, internet service that AT and T is coming out with. This is the BGW three twenty uh, modem, and on the back here, it has. I don't know if you can see that that blue Ethernet port that's on the bottom there that the black Ethernet cable is plugged into. That's a five gig port, and the yellow ones are all one gig port ports. Uh, that green cable right there at the bottom is the fiber coming in, and then the cable above it is a five gig uh, Ethernet port. It maxes out. It'll do one gig and five gig, and uh, two gig. Here soon, AT and T is gonna come out with two gig and five gig internet, and that Ethernet cable runs over here to my QNAP switch, and then this QNAP switch converts that uh, five gig Ethernet to ten gig SFP plus. And the reason why I need this switch is for my UDM Pro right here. That top port there, the ten is a 10 gig WAN port. That port next to it there, port 9, is only a 1 gig RJ45 port. So that's why I can't take that Ethernet cable and plug it straight into my UDM Pro, which is my router, because that port only maxes out at 1 gig. So I needed something to convert uh, RJ45 to fiber so I could plug it into my UDM Pro here. You know, my router so and this AT&T modem has also got a built-in router I'm not going to use any of these other ports on the switch because right now I have the um, I have that set up in pass-through mode so it only um, it gives its WAN IP address to my UDM Pro here so all this thing's doing is passing through all the internet traffic and passing through my WAN IP address into my UDM Pro. And I'll show you that here in a minute on my computer. But if for some reason I was stupid enough to plug in something into one of those other ports, I, uh, the AT&T router is still turned on. It would give me an IP address from its DHCP server. But I'm not using its DHCP server, it's just I haven't figured out how to turn it off. Uh, I just did it in pass through, so uh, my UDM Pro gets a true WAN IP address. Um, and then I have my 10 gig switch down there at the bottom that my PC and my server is plugged into. So from the bottom, that, that bottom fiber plug goes to my 10 gig uh, switch there. And that's what that RJ45 adapter is for there on the very left. It's so I can run 10 gig to my laptop uh, via, you know, Ethernet. But, like I said, I'll show you here in a minute um, how I do the pass-through. Um, and the switch, you know, like I said, it, I'm just using it to convert copper over to fiber. Uh, that was the best way I could do it. Because I know they make uh, those, you know, and also, you know, what I got plugged into that port right there. But for some reason, when I was using those, uh, I was only getting like 100 meg upload. <laughs> Download was great, but I was only getting 100 meg. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but this QNAP switch was like 170 bucks, and you know it does what I needed to do: convert copper over to fiber. So when AT&T launches 5 gig here soon, when I upgrade to it, my UDM Pro. We'll be able to do the whole 5 gig speed. <laughs> Alright, like I said, this is uh, where you go to change that port to make sure it's at 5 gig. Um, you, you can change it to 2.5 gig or 1 gig. Uh, and this is on the 320, uh, BGW320 AT&T modem router combo. Uh, to get to here, you type in 192.168.1.254. I changed mine to 2 uh, just because but yours would be dot one. And then up top, you click on Home Network, and then you click on Configure. And then these are all your ports here. Like these other ports here, they only have one gig and, you know, well, 10, 100. That's all they have. Um, but this uh, port one here, that's the blue port. You have five gig you can switch it to, 2.5 gig, one gig. Um, it's default, it's auto, so it should auto-negotiate. 
but I went ahead and put mine to 5 gig and you hit save and that'll automatically, no matter what you plug in, force it to go to 5 gig. That can cause problems if you know you only plug it into a device that only has 1 gig ethernet. But that's how I know that I'm passing through 5 gig over to that switch. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, go ahead and like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment. Tell me what all I did wrong. And I'll see you in the next video.